It's dizzy. I've been out working in my orchard. I've been working on getting rid of the elderberry. Still need to get this one cut with a chainsaw in order to get it rid of it. And of course I've been digging up the roots and the small ones. Uh, before I talk anymore, I've got to explain a little bit about roots for those that may not know. Plants have basically one of two types of roots. Uh, in order to think about that, think first about a carrot. A carrot has what's called a taproot. It goes straight down into the ground. Of course, if you have a tree with a taproot, that can be pretty difficult to pull out. Your mulberries have tap roots, and they put down a root to China, as I like to say. The other type of root is a fiber root. And think of corn, grass, things like that. They have a root with a bunch of little fingers that spread all out. They are much easier to get out. Uh, peach trees have that type of root. When I worked on a fruit farm, did a lot of pulling out of old trees, and it was because of that type of roots they were easy enough to pull out. Well, elderberry, thank God, has that fibrous root. This is where the one was. And it took me a while. But as you can see, I was able to get it out. Now I did have to come in here with my pruners, which I hated to do, and cut the roots. This is some of the stuff that I was cutting that can be pretty big. You can see this still a lot of it in the ground, but I was able to get this out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to dig this one out or not. This one is going to be a lot harder. It's a bigger tree. Uh, I could really use a tractor to get this one out, but that's not something that I have. I'm going to be waiting a few days before I try to get this one out and we'll see how it does. But other than that, except for anything that springs up, I know I've got some out in the yard. The elderberry is out. And I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am about that. The only elderberry that I will have left in the yard after I'm done with this is just the elderberry that I've stuck in pots and be taken with me when I move so that if I don't have elderberry, I will. So I will talk at you later.